Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're actually gonna take a walk. First walk of the year. It's finally nice enough. Here's my walking buddy, say hi. Hi. Is it bright? Yeah. Sunshine's finally out. Oh, this weather is so much nicer than the plus, plus, <laughs> than the minus 50 weather we had with the wind chill for a week or so ago. It was terrible. I'm still feeling a little sick. I ended up feeling, a getting a little bit sick this morning, but I ended, ended up managing through doing a workout. So now I decided to take him for a walk. And so we had to sneak out. So he has, Noah has ketchup on his face still, but I have to sneak out. Cause if Xavier sees me right now, cause I'm doing the weaning process. And if he sees me, we're definitely get, not gonna go. So I go and beat you. <laughs> oh, go get ya. So today is finally the day um, that I get my crowns put in. I am so excited. Uh, it's been a very long time coming. I keep talking about it because they keep pushing it off and like telling me they're going to do it and they're going to do it, but they haven't done it. So today is finally supposed to be the day we had to get up super early to do this. The kids aren't too happy, but hey, it's what happens when you get something so exciting. You don't even care if you wake up your kids super early, but I've been, uh, weaning like I said I finished uh, nursing yesterday not yesterday the day before was the first or was the last day that I was nursing and uh, I'm having a lot of pain like I did not expect this much pain I had a milk a clogged milk duct and I am in quite a bit of pain so guys it finally happened they finally put the crowns in look I'm so happy it's about time such a long time coming so today we're just gonna be in town I'm gonna do some shopping uh, Jake just went I'm into no frills to get a uh, no. what your mouth are you okay daddy said he's gonna get you a drink okay no I am worried about my teeth what's wrong with your teeth are you okay <laughs> Are you okay? Poor guy. Ever since I had my teeth problem, now he has teeth problem too. But we're gonna go, uh, Jake went into No Frills to go get goat's milk for not for his Xavier. So uh, then we're gonna go to Costco and then some sort of food. I'm starved. I didn't eat before this because I had a crust white strip on my teeth. So I'm excited to go get some food. So we are actually going out today for a little bit. Um, we're going to Spring Lake. It's beautiful here. Taking Xavier for the very first time. Uh, Noah loves it. He's walking on ice for the first time. He's so excited.
So this is the cream cheese burritos that Noah was helping me prep there. It's just bell peppers, bacon, uh, cream cheese, and a little bit of salt. And then just putting them in the vegetable wrap is so good with um, barbecue sauce. That's how I eat it anyway. I got this recipe from my sister-in-law, Anna. Tell them what daddy's doing. He's playing with the gauge. <laughs> the boogie gauge. <laughs> He's playing with the spooky switch? Yeah. Is he playing Luigi's Mansion? Yeah. Tell them what you got today. What did we go buy for you? Um, he, he buy me you gonna show everybody what you got? I, I got Batman boots. Did you get them shoes? Um, show sure. show how it lights up. Hold on. Come here. Show them how it lights. Wow. Mm, mm, it it, it, it lights from this. The floor. <laughs> what about you, little guy? <laughs> you you get your first pair of shoes. Look at those shoes. Look at those shoes. <laughs> so I ended up making um the other the other day. I mean yesterday when I was meal prepping a little bit. I got the burritos into the fridge, the sour cream and bell pepper burritos. And then I ended up making myself some salsa yet. That stuff is so good. So, so, so good. And then I ended up making burger patties for today so that when we went into town, it wouldn't take so long for me to cook when I got back. And Jake ended up doing it for me. So that helped out a lot while I did some vacuuming and stuff. So, yeah, we ended up going to Walmart, as you saw from the last one, I got, we got Noah some shoes and Xavier shoes, Xavier's first pair of shoes, and he loves them so much. He's been wanting new shoes for a while, so, or he's been wanting shoes for a while. Every time he's in the kitchen, where Jake's shoes are, he'll always grab them and try them on. They're so big, so he just trips, so it doesn't work out, so I usually just have to hide them. So, yes. So the kids are actually in bed now. Um, I ended up putting them to bed after dinner. Uh, no one wanted to stay up for a while to watch Jake play his new game. And so uh, we ended up staying up a little bit longer, or the kids did. But I wanted to explain this on my shoulder. See that? That is what happens when you have a baby that's got a runny nose and he kept hugging me and I didn't realize what he was doing but he was actually wiping his snot on me um, but that's alright these years are gonna pass it's gonna be so quick I'm just trying to soak up every little moment that I can but on a weaning update so I ended up uh, completely stopping on Monday was my last day so I was saying in my clip the day that I got my teeth fixed um, I was saying that my my chest were so engorged uh, they were hurting so bad um, this is now day four yeah day four and they're doing a lot better I'm feeling a lot better anyway they're still super full but it's not to the point where I can't handle it anymore it's now I don't have to take ibuprofen or anything I'm okay now it's been working out a little bit better now uh, the baby is finally adjusting whoever said weaning was easy was full of it for real uh, it's been a really long struggle 
And same thing is with staying motivated when you're going through a health journey and weaning your baby is super hard. Um, even though I've been trying to lose weight for this 5K that I'm about to do in July, uh, I'm trying to be as light as I can for that so it'll be easier on my on my body. And no matter what I'm doing right now, I'm just gaining because my hormones are so out of whack. It's not even funny for whoever's gone through this before. I feel you. I feel so sorry for you. It's hard. It is so hard. I have a family member who has uh, been struggling lately with uh, losing weight and stress and all that and I didn't really understand I still don't quite understand something she's going through because I've I don't have similar experiences but in this case I feel her she is struggling with losing weight so she's struggling to stay on track with everything if you're still gonna go up what's the point right so that's where I've been in the last little while but I realized really quick that it's all about mindset mindset is everything when you're trying to lose weight or anything so even though I'm still gaining because of my hormones I am still staying on track I'm staying within my macros yes I'm not eating as healthy as I have been or as I should be I should be doing more meal prepping which I'm gonna try to do tomorrow and I actually have a friend visiting tomorrow that I haven't seen in years so it's gonna be exciting but so I need to meal prep so and I will do that tomorrow but it's hard to do that when you're still going out no matter what you do but I am here whoever's going through this I feel you I am here for you it is hard but we can do this stay motivated we've got this consistency consistency is everything just stay consistent be there you can do this. We can do this. All right. I hope everyone enjoyed. If you did like what you see, I hope you liked and subscribed down below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.